Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today we're going to do a metric system review. Of course, let's see what Charlie's up to. He better be ready. <laughs> hey, Charlie, you ready to go? <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to do a metric system review. Okay. We're going to begin with units of length. Well, got your meter stick, Charlie? Yep. Okay, you're going to be helping us out with this. Now, here's a meter stick, and it's broken up into millimeters. Remember, milli means one thousandths of, so there are a thousand milliliters, millimeters in one meter. Sorry. Tongue twister there. <laughs> now, here's a meter stick broken up into centimeters. Remember, centime means a hundredth of, hundredth part of, so there are a hundred centimeters in one meter. And a meter stick broken up into decimeters. Remember, deci means a tenth of, and so there are ten decimeters in one meter. Okay, so let's do an area problem. We're going to calculate some area in the metric system. Well, here's a meter stick with uh, centimeters okay, listed on it. Now, we're going to take this rectangular box here, Charlie, and it's 10 centimeters as its length. Now, how much is 10 meters? Sir? Sure, everybody. Okay, and now the width of this box, we'll say, is 8 centimeters. How big is that, Charlie? Okay, that's good. Now, to calculate the area, the rectangular box is just length times width, right? 10 centimeters times 8 centimeters gives you 80. 10 times 8 is 80. We don't need a calculator for that. And centimeters times centimeters gives us the centimeters squared, which is our dimensions for area. There you go. Now, let's do this triangle here, Charlie. Okay, this triangle, Charlie, is 15 centimeters long at its base. How much is 15 centimeters, Charlie? Okay, and its height is 20 centimeters. How much is that? Very nice, Charlie. Now, what's the area for a triangle? One half base times height. Yeah, you better know that one. <laughs> it's one half base times height. Now, all we got to do is put our numbers in. Area is one half. The base is 15 centimeters. Its height is 20 centimeters. And so, what's our answer, Charlie? It's going to be 150 centimeters squared. What do you get for your final answer, Charlie? 150. 150 centimeters squared, you really don't need a calculator for that one either. So there you go. There are some area problems. Now, let's go on. Let's do another area problem, but let's do this one in millimeters, okay? So again, here's a rectangular box. Now, this box has a length of 120 millimeters. So how big is that, Charlie? Yeah, all right. It's not that big, is it? Now, remember, that's the same as 12 centimeters. So you can look and see, hey, they're the same. 12 centimeters is 120 millimeters. Now, for its width, we'll list that as 80 millimeters. Show everybody, Charlie. Okay, and let's calculate its area, length times width. Put in your numbers. The length is 120 millimeters. Width is 80 millimeters. And so we get what, Charlie? 9,600. 9,600. What's our units? Millimeters squared. Millimeters squared or square millimeters, however you want to say that. Millimeters squared, very nice. Let's do a triangle. Now this triangle has a base of 250 millimeters. Please show everybody, Charlie. Very nice. And its height is 103 millimeters, Charlie. There you go, okay. And now, area is one half base times height. Put in our numbers. Base is 250 millimeters, right? Height is 103 millimeters. Put the numbers in your calculator. What do you get, Charlie? 12,875. 12,875, and that would be millimeters what? Squared. Millimeters squared. There are some problems with area. Okay, now let's do some volume problems. Ooh, don't get scared. Now, one meter is 10 decimeters, don't forget. Now, here's a cube up here, Charlie. Now, this cube is one decimeter, okay, as its length. Its width is also one decimeter, and its height is one decimeter. It's a cube, length times width times height, they're all the same. So the volume of a cube, we actually say, is side length cubed, because length times width times height, they're all the same. Now there's one decimeter, how big is the decimeter, Charlie? That's right, not very big, okay? And so volume is side length cubed for a cube, and one decimeter cubed is equal to one decimeter times one decimeter times one decimeter, which is equal to what, Charlie? One decimeter cubed. One decimeter cubed. Now, those of you in the nursing program, you better know that one decimeter cubed is actually equivalent to what, Charlie? One liter. One liter, because it is volume, okay? 
So this one decimeter cubic box, Charlie, show me a little box there. That's right. The volume of that box is actually one liter. Okay. So let's bring a bigger box up here, Charlie. This box is two decimeters long. Its width is two decimeters, and its height is two decimeters. It is a cube, again, with side length of two decimeters. So if we go ahead and calculate the volume, which is side length cube, notice we get two decimeters cube, which is two decimeters times two decimeters times two decimeters, which is eight. What's the units, Charlie? Decimeters cubed. Decimeters cubed. Now remember, one decimeter cube is the same as one liter, so eight decimeters cubed is the same as eight liters. So in that two decimeter cube right there, show them, Charlie, show me your cube. That cube right there can hold eight liters of some liquid, right? Because that's its volume. Okay, there we go. And so here we're going to show, yes, a one decimeter cube is actually one liter. A cube that's two decimeters as its side length will actually hold eight liters of a liquid. There we go. Okay, now let's do another one here. Let's do a, another cube, but this time its side length is 10 centimeters, okay? And let's calculate its volume. Well, volume is a centimeter cubed, right? I'm sorry, volume is side length cubed. So the volume is 10 centimeters cubed, which is 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters, which is? Thousand. What, Charlie? Thousand. 1,000 centimeters cubed. That's right. Now, remember, 1,000 centimeters cubed it's the same as 1,000 cc's. That's what cc means, right? Centimeter cubed, same thing. But, remember, 10 centimeters is actually equivalent to one decimeter. And if that's true, then 1,000 cc's is equivalent to one liter. Same thing. So Charlie, show me your uh, one liter cube. That's right. Okay, you can look at the side length as being a one decimeter, or the side length is 10 centimeters, however you want to write that. Okay, well let's look at a one centimeter side length cube, which means you have a little cube up there where each side length is one centimeter. That's a very small volume, right? Try, how big is your, where's it to see a one centimeter cube? That's right, it's very tiny. Now, Volume is side length cubed. In this case, it's one centimeter. So we cube the one centimeters. And notice here, we get one centimeter cube, okay? Which is actually one cc. Well, if you think about that, one cc, if you look at our little box up there, notice that it's a cube, so it has volume, and one cc is actually equal to one milliliter. Now that's something you should know your nursing program. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, notice here, this box has a volume of one liter, and that box over there has a volume of one milliliter. Okay, now remember, milli means one thousandths of. So that means that a thousand of these little boxes should fit in this box here. Okay, so and I'm going to show you that right now. Here we go, Charlie. Okay. So draw all these pictures here, Charlie. So there, we put one box there. There's one milliliter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Pay attention, Charlie. Nine, ten. There's ten. Now let's put ten more behind it. That gives us twenty. Ten more is thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. So there's a hundred there. And now let's put another hundred on top. That's two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand. There they are, a thousand of those little milliliters fit in that one liter box. That's why it's called a milliliter, because a thousand of them will fit in that liter box. Anyway, that completes our lecture. We'll see you all again soon. I gotta go.